All right, I think we're connected. Hop on in here. Say hello. All right, I think we're good to go. So welcome to my CRTC Craft Run the Clock segment. Tonight we're going to paint a little rustic ornament here. We're going to do a little nativity scene. Hi, Kathy. So we're just going to be shared over into the Craft Run the Clock. Around, <laughs> can't even talk tonight. Craft Run the Clock group. And if you're not a part of the Craft Run the Clock group, the link is at the top of this post. Pop over there, join that page crafting all day long every day um, lots to see over there lots of inspiration hello everybody's popping in here all right so if we do hit i'm going to go out on a limb and say if we hit 100 tonight i'm going to give away some happy mail so keep an eye on that count for me and let me know if we do hit 100 i'm gonna that's a stretch. So maybe we will, maybe we won't, but we'll see. All right. So I went ahead and made one of these little ditties here before I went live because I always like to have a little reference. So my little extra that I have will be given away if we do hit 100. So share this out to your friends. And maybe they'll pop on too, and we'll make it to 100 viewers tonight. Hello, Karina, all the way from Nova Scotia. How's your snow situation down there? We have the white stuff. As of last night, we got the white stuff. Hello, Sherry. All right. So I'm not going to waste any time because we only have our 45 minutes to paint this little thing. So we're going to get ahead. go ahead and do that. Now... This is a wood slice, a um, little birch bark wood slice. I got these ones at Michael's. And as you can see, they kind of, this one was a much nicer kind of roundish. This one has a little bit of a funky um, curve to it here, but we're still going to make it work because that's the whole point. It's supposed to be a little rustic, so I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to grab some white here. Hello everybody popping on in here. So remember to, I'm not going to be watching that count all the time, but if we do hit a hundred, I will be giving one of these away this evening. Oh, we will give you all our snow, Barbara. You can have it all, all of it. <laughs> I would not mind. It's so funny, you know, when you don't have snow, you, you think you like snow, and when you have too much of it, you don't want it. So it's kind of like, you know, if you have red hair and you want brown hair, or if you have curly hair, you want straight hair. It's kind of like that thing. Hello, Lisa from New York. All right, so I'm just putting a coat of white on here just kind of as a base coat. It's kind of boring. We'll get this on here and we'll move on to the fun stuff. I'm just saying hello to everybody while I'm doing that. Beverly, Patricia, and Debbie, hello ladies. So I'm not being too fancy about this base coat. Like I said, I kind of want it to be a little bit on the rustic side so i am going to add some water to my brush and just kind of mush this around and wherever it lands it lands sort of thing i'm not doing right to the edge i'm just kind of putting water on my brush and then just moving around the paint i already have there and if there's a little bare spots in there that's okay too i'm fine with that Miramichi, New Brunswick. Coming in from all over the place tonight. Yes, Susan, it's nice that I can see my ladies here live. 
All right. All right. So when we hit that hundred, if we hit that hundred tonight, as soon as we hit it, and if it drops back down below a hundred, as long as we hit that hundred mark, just somebody pop in the comments that we made it to a hundred viewers and we'll do a giveaway. I'll give away one of these little ornaments that we're making tonight. Just reminding or letting people know that are coming in. So I have my little line drawing here. It's not fancy. And because this one is kind of a funny shape, we might have to modify it just a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm just going to grab my... Hello, Maria. So I'm just going to grab my carbon paper and we'll push that in there. And I'll do my little outline of my little baby Jesus here. Also, I will post this tiny little line drawing after if anyone wants to have it to paint your own. That's going to be available as well. Um, it'll just be the line drawing. So if you want colors, you'll have to watch the video to see what I used. You can use any colors you want. It doesn't really, it's really not, it uh, doesn't matter what colors you use. I'm just going to kind of mark where that is. And I'll sort of mark here where the halo is as well. Oh, it didn't come through very well. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, let's get to business. All right, so I'm going to just use a little bit of fawn. Now I know not everyone can find fawn. I think this is one of the colors that have been discontinued, but it's just a light beige color. And you don't have to use, like I said, the exact colors that I use. Now, any beige will do. If you have chocolate brown, just add a little white to it and you can make a lighter, lighter beige color. Yeah, this is a really cute ornament. Um, and super easy to paint out too. These little um, birch slices kind of kind of make the whole look, I think. And they're pretty. I mean, I think the dollar store might even have these. I'm not certain on that. I think I may have seen these little wood slices at the dollar store, but I did get mine from Michaels. You could probably get them from Hobby Lobby and you know, all kinds of different places. And they're not too expensive. Or, you know, if you have a man who wants to go out and chop trees, he could probably chop a few down and make you some slices. I don't know. <laughs> Find a man to do that for you. Ooh, we're already that close. Wow. All right. So I'm just be blocking in my little cradle here, if that's what you call it. And I'm going to use, um, oh, can you still order fawn from Decor? Perfect. Perfect. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of natural buff. And again, this is just a skin color. You can use anything that's light, like skin color. You can even use uh, light buttermilk. Works as well. Yes, it's very simple drawing, like exactly what you said. It's not anything extravagant, but it comes out really cute. All right, so I have his little head based in its natural buff, like I said, but any little skin color will do. And then his little blanket, I'm going to do like in a light blue color. You could use, I'm, I think this is blue chiffon that I'm using. You could use winter blue 
um, you can even do your little blanket in any any color you want to but I'm doing mine in a light blue thank you Lisa I appreciate that you cannot order from deco art direct if you're in Canada that's correct we have other we have other um, places we can get it though stockade keeps a good supply of paint from deco art deco art used to um, ship to us but I'm not sure if it's because of shipping costs and all of that jazz or what the reasoning is behind it now 103 wow did it really just it slipped right up there and back down again all right so that means that we will be doing a giveaway for one of these little slices so let's just see if we hit 150 so we hit 100 so we're going to give one away but if we hit 150 i'll give them both away i'll give i'll do two giveaways so watch that again and see what happens there let's see if we can hit that stretch out there so spread the love maybe we'll hit 150 and we'll give two away okay so i think um, I used a little bit of lemon yellow. I'm going to do that first. Actually, I want to just put another little coat on these bottom legs here just because they're not quite dark enough yet. Yes, I have a Multicrafts account, yes. But the thing with um, Multicrafts is their minimum is quite high. So you have to order lots if you're going to order from there. Thank you, Tisha, for my Santa behind me. Yes, we're doing that one in our membership group this month. All right, so I just put another little coat on there. I'm just going to dry that quick. Now, I wanted to make it look sort of like it's um, glowing, you know, around the baby Jesus. So I did use a little bit of lemon yellow and I'm just going to shade around the outer, around the outside of the cradle with that. Oops, dropping all my goods. Thank you, Katana. All right, so I'm just going to grab my angled shader, grab some of that lemon yellow. And I'm just going to put that nice yellow glow around the outer edge here. It's going to look a little crazy right off the start, but it will all come together. I promise. I'm going to have to trust the process. Don't, don't ditch me yet. You'll see. <laughs> It'll be cute. All righty. I don't want to smudge up my halo too much there. Thank you, Becky. All right, so we have our little yellow glow sort of all around. And I'm just going to add some water to my brush and just kind of spread that out a little bit. And I think I got a little too much over here. So I'm just going to tone that down just a smidge. Just add a little white to my brush there. I'm just going to tone this down. Put a little white on my brush and dipped it into my yellow. I'm just toning that yellow down. It's kind of like screaming at me there. So I just wanted to lighten that up just a little bit. All right, and we're going to shade out the, thank you for the sprinkle. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to grab some uh, burnt umber and we'll do a little shading on the cradle. So I'm just going to shade those bottom 
edges of the legs and also just under on the legs but just under that main part of the cradle there and I'll come down that side just a bit hi Danielle all right, so then I'm going to just come straight across the bottom of the main piece. And along both sides here. Sorry, I have to turn a little bit just to reach. And so I can keep my hand out of the camera shot so you can kind of still see what I'm doing. All right, let's give that a quick dry. Hi, Chris. Hi, Deborah. And there's Miss Patty. All right, I just did a side peek there. We're at 105, so oh, just slip down to 104. But if we hit 150, don't forget to tell me, and we'll give two. We'll do two giveaways. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of ground down here because it's kind of like sitting there in space so i'm going to grab a little bit of that fawn and a little bit of burnt umber and kind of mix that together well i for the angled shader is that what you're asking me Joni? is that the one you're thinking of i do use dynasty black gold and yes i know they are, they can be a little pricey but in my opinion, they're worth every cent. But there's Royal Langnickel. Um, there's many other brands that actually do make the angled shaders. So I'm just put some of that burnt umber under there. I'm just going to grab a little bit of that lighter fawn color and just kind of mix that in a bit. There on the ground. And then I'm going to grab some white. I'm going to do a little highlight. Um, I would have to look. I'm not exactly sure what the name, brand name of my microphone is, but I can, I can check. But my my dryer's actually quite quiet. But I do notice when I watch the replays that it kind of tones it down even more. Um, but that is the microphone doing that. I can check and I can post what the brand name is. I got it on Amazon. So I would have to kind of look. I'm just doing a little highlight on the legs there. And I'm going to do a highlight here across the top of the actual cradle itself. So just put a little white on there. And I think too much water in my brush and it's just not doing what I want it to do down here. Okay. I'm going to grab a little more of that burnt umber and just touch up my shades down here that I kind of lost. Okay. All right, it's looking good so far. So I'm going to grab some deep midnight blue and I'm going to shade the bottom edge of the blanket with a darker blue. Thanks for the sprinkle. Thank you, Tony. All right, so we're just going along the edge of that little blanket. And then I'm going to come up here just a little bit by his head. And just kind of fade that out a bit. So there you can see that. And I might bring a little bit up here on this side too. It's a tedious little 
you know, the tiniest of paintings, you know, you can add a lot of detail to a small painting, even though it's just tiny like this. You can still add a lot of little finicky little things, but it makes it look that much nicer, I think. I like your setup bringing in the circle. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> Thank you, Reba. All right, so for uh, the shading on his little head, I'm going to use a little bit of peaches and cream. So I use natural buff to base it, and then I'm just going to use this light peachy color here to add that little shade there. So I'm just going along the blanket and along that bottom edge by the cradle. And then I'll give this a quick dry and we'll add a little white highlight on there too. Alrighty, so we'll grab some white. Thank you, Luann. Thank you, Judy. Okay, yes, we're going to add lots more details too. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a little piece of jute on my brush. Add a little white highlight here and a little bit on his head as well. And we'll let that dry for a hot minute. And then I'm going to grab my liner brush. And I'm going to go into my burnt umber. The reason why I'm shouting out these colors is that I'm giving away that line drawing. So if you watch the rewatch re the replay, you'll you'll hear the colors that I used. Hi Cecile. Hi Molly. Thank you, Anna. Okay, so I'm just going to put a few little kind of hash marks here. I'm going to get a little more water in my brush. It didn't like that very much. And I'm just going to just add some kind of like little lines like that. Not too much water. Hold the bus. We're going to get it. And then we'll just come down through there like that. So we'll just put like a little hash mark on there and we'll do the same thing kind of up over in here like that. And then I'll just add some lines down here on the legs just to make it look like a little bit of wood there. And I think I might even add another little, little one up here like so. All right, and same goes for the blanket. I'll add a little bit of those lines to the blanket. Yes, it makes it really pop, doesn't it, Luann? It just changes the whole look just by shading. So I'm going to just add a few of these little lines here on the blanket like that. And then I'm going to add a few little sprigs of grass down here on the ground. So I'm just going to grab both of my browns, my, my dark brown and my fawn, my burnt umber and my fawn. Kind of mix that together a little bit. And then we can just pull some blades of grass up from here over the legs a little bit. Like so. I'm doing just fine, Margaret. Thank you for asking. Thanks for spreading the paint. Okay, so I'm going to grab a little bit of black. Now that we have, we'll get our halo done here in a second as well in our star. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of black and I'm just going to do a light outline of my parts here 
before I add my hay. So I'm just kind of lightly, just a light, light touch going around my pieces here. Doesn't have to be super dark, it's just a nice fine line. And we'll do the same thing around the blanket and his head. A little too much water on my brush again. We're having the rest of time with this water. <laughs> Thanks, Patty. That's funny. I just saw that now. So I'm just going to go around here. Now, if you're scared to do this, you can always use a nice fine liner marker if you want. Just make sure it's a permanent one or it will smudge like the Dickens if it is not. All right. So now we can add our hay in here. So I'm going to grab a little bit of my fawn and a little bit of that darker burnt umber color here and uh, maybe I'll just grab a little bit more of that burnt umber Ooh, our numbers rising do you think we're gonna make it to 150 let's hope and then I can give two of these away so keep spreading the love and hopefully it gets sent out all right so I'm just gonna grab from the top edge there and just start pulling out little sprigs like that. I know you probably can't see because my hand's in the way, um, but I can't help that. <laughs> kind of hard to, um, on something so tiny. All right. So we're just going to do that all the way across. Just in different directions, and I'll have to be uniform. So this is just our first color. We're going to add a couple more colors in here. So this is the darker brown color. And you can add as much as this as, of this as you want. There's no rules. And then you can kind of pop some up just over the edge there, just coming up from the, around this, up onto the baby. Oh, yeah, either my brush is too wet or not wet enough this evening. So I try to add a little bit of water to when I'm lining uh, to my brush and to my paint to make it kind of inky because it's supposed to flow better off your brush, but tonight I'm having trouble. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to grab just some of that fawn, some of that lighter brown now. And you can, you know, throw in a few of those. So that little color there, just here and there. And then I'm going to grab some marigold, so some nice bright yellow. I'm using a 10-0 liner for my A. So then we're going to pull some of that yellow in there.
And then the same thing, we can pull some up from the top onto the baby. And then our baby's pretty much done. We just have to add our halo. And again, you can add as much hay to your cradle as you like. If you get a little bit here, I got a little too much yellow, I'll just come back in with some dark brown again and just add a few of those darker ones back in there. So you can kind of go back and forth and just play with that a little bit. Like so. It's super cute so far. All right. So our wee babe is done so what I'm going to do for the halo and the star is I'm going to use some dazzling metallics gold splendid gold and I think this is and we'll use some of that for our halo and our star and I'm going to use the same 10-0 liner and we'll just line out our little halo Now this might take a couple coats because it's kind of um, a little bit transparent, but once you get a couple good coats of this on there, it's really nice and bright gold. Concentrating hard here. I don't want to mess up the halo. There we go. And then the same thing for the star. We just do our long piece here and I'll go over it a couple times and do our cross this way So far, so good. All right, so I'll just go put the rest of our star on here. And then I'll dry that quick. Isn't it sweet? It turns out pretty cute. And the gold dries pretty fast. And then what I'm going to do is Why am I painting a baby? It's baby Jesus, Deanna. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use some of my burnt umber. And I'm just going to just lightly go under the edge of the halo, just as a kind of not really a shade, but just to kind of accentuate that a little bit. Just on those bottom edges. And I'm going to do the same thing on the left side here. I'm going to just do like a line of brown and on the underside of this cross piece and the underside of these cross pieces here, just as a little so we can see it a little bit better like that. And that's basically that. And then you can go ahead and grab some white if you want to, just on your liner brush. And you can put a little highlight line here on the baby's head. You can do a little highlight line here on the blanket. And we'll just give that a quick dry because I want to put, I'm going to put some beads here on the top. All right. So now we can grab some jute. And I'm just going to grab my scissors here. Thank you, Millie. 
So I'm just going to, you know, grab a piece, oh, about that long. And I'm going to feed one piece through here. And then I'm going to put a knot kind of right at the very top here. I'm going to get this in the camera shot. And in the very top. Looks like we might not hit our 150. All right, so we're just going to pull that down nice and tight to the very top of my ornament. And then I'm going to, sorry, I'm just going to add my beads. So I have a big bead and two smaller beads. See if we can get this through here. The small ones always give me a challenge. I should have my glue gun out so I can, oh wait. That actually went better than I thought it was going to. So I'm just leaving them natural. Now, I mean, it's kind of rustic looking, I think, the way it is with the wood slice. So I just thought I would leave the beads natural too. Because I thought it suited it. But I mean, if you wanted to paint yours, you could definitely paint your beads. Ooh. Okay, we got it. So then I'll put a knot right at the very top of this one, right up against my beads. And then another knot just to make that so that we have a loop to hang it on our tree. I'll just leave oh, about an inch and a half, two inches in there. Thank you, guys. And then you could leave, you know, so that's kind of what it looks like. I'll just move that out of the way. So that's kind of what it looks like. So if you wanted to trim this back, you can. I'm just going to twist my ends open and kind of pull them open. I think the other one I made is a little bit shorter than this one, the top part. But I mean, you could cut that down if you don't like it. But there's your loop so that you can hang it on your tree. But isn't that sweet? All right. Even though we didn't make it to, there's my other one I did. You can see it's a little more round than this one over here. Let's back up a little bit. So even though we didn't hit 150, I'm going to give two away anyway. So I'm just going to scroll and stop somewhere. Reba Graham Volgamore. You win one ornament. So you can um, private message me your address so that I can send this out to you. So I'm just going to do another little spin here. And Becky White Gonski. Gonksy. <laughs> I hope I didn't butcher that. Becky White Gonksy. If you're still here, um, send me a private message with your email address and we will get one out to you. So let me just write these ladies' names down here. Becky White. And I'm not going to try and say your last name again. And then we had Reba. Let me find Reba. Reba, where you are. I saw you. Reba Graham. Volgamore. All right. So you two ladies can message me. Uh, and your email, at, or you're not your email, your home addresses. And we will get these little ornaments out to you. If there's other any other questions, yes, congratulations. Oh, there's Becky. All right, 
And there's Reba there. Okay, you're both still here. That's excellent. So thank you everybody for joining me tonight. And I will get the little line drawing up for you as well. Like I said, if you if you want the line drawing, it will be posted. It's just going to be a very tiny little line drawing. Um, the thing with this is also you can make it bigger. If you want to put this design on something else that's bigger, you can just increase the size of your line drawing. Um, so that works too. And um, if you want to know the colors that I used, make sure you come back and watch the replay because I kind of shouted them out through the whole thing here. Um, there won't be a supply list. It'll just be the line drawing. So I will post that after I get off of here as well. And you can grab that if you want to. All right. So thank you so much, ladies. I know I'm a few minutes early signing off tonight, but I'm finished. So, all right. Thanks so much. Congratulations to my winners. And we'll see you all next time. Night, ladies.